we are looking for the state of the market and an overbought situation here. We are approaching the elastic, start feeling uncomfortable for longs because between this 49.50 ES SPX to this 5,075, you start approaching here an 89% chance of a rejection in the market. It starts, it's the tool. I'm not fighting the tool, right? So I know that I am in the last 125 points breath in which we are going to have a serious retracement coming in the market and possibly retracing all the way to those edges here, which are roughly the 4,600, 4,500 area, right? This is very possible that we are going to have a 4,400, 4,600 edge ret retest from those two bubbles back here at one point and back here which will shake everybody and create another buy zone for all time high. But you need to start preparing for that. And what are going to be the clues for that? Well, the clues for that are going to be the Magnificent Seven. You want to see how the Microsoft, the NVIDIA, right? The Google, the Amazon, the Meta, you know? You want to start seeing how those are going to behave on your chart. And we've seen yesterday that already AMD, Google were going to open down this morning after earnings. We have Apple today as well, right? So your first line of looking at what's going on in this last 125 points, because you know the first time they are going to test the round number, they are going to reject the round number. That's it, it's a fact. It always happened, it always will. They approach the round number, the 5,000 here, the 500 on the SPY, they will reject and they will scare people back towards that 4,600, 4,400 area to shake everybody out. So then we can reconstruct with the elections and a new president or whatever, a new cycle, right? So you will have to look at a couple of elements that I do look. Number one, I look at the bonds, obviously, the 10-year, the ZN. If they are going down, rates going up, puts pressure on the market. Two, I put a look at the Dixie, the dog. Three, I will look at the Magnificent Sevens. And four, of course, we are going to look at the powertrain box here. We are going to see if we start seeing net seller on the institutional side, on the short side, on the major side. Yesterday, we started seeing minor retail volume coming on the short side net seller. So I'm going to observe that if I have a shift of momentum from up here, trend to downtrend, that will be the beginning of the retracement towards the 4,600, 43.75 with the uptrend intact, which means buy here, buy here on the retracement or accumulate in your portfolio. So some stocks I want to accumulate, as you know, you know, even though it, it took yesterday, I want to wait for AMD to sell off, Conbase to sell off, Palantir to sell off, like there's a lot of stocks in our screeners if you have all the entire suite that you can look here. See, we have potential of entry, we have prices, we have the best opportunities. I have a three-in-one scanner. I can look for stocks and cryptos and I can look for swing trading, day trading, long-term investing, you know, the best opportunities for stocks and crypto. If you look on the right, and I do a three things here, boom, I have my crypto scanner for day trading. I have CE, AVAX, ICP, ADASH popping up for best of OI after retracement. So I have a, an eye on all our scanners, our stocks, our crypto scanners, all of them, right? I'd, because then I go from the scanner, we go from the opportunity on the scanner to the opportunity in the market by pulling the charts and then waiting when we have the highest probability of success with the edges, right, of the indicators, right? And this is very, 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 very powerful. So 
you know, um, and it's and it's very systematic. You know, it's the processes that we have been using. We are using them again and again and again with our own money. All right. So I want to show you now the Z and the bond because this is what's very important coming into FOMC this morning. So this is a daily of the bond. I want to go weekly on the bond. You kind of see the, the entire pattern. So if you look at the bond and you put structure line, guess what? You still have a huge downtrend. This is your first downtrend line. Yeah, Even though they are going to uh, uh, decrease rates like three to six cuts, that doesn't mean that this is not a downtrend still. So at the end of the day, the targets on the structure lines are going to go beware. Well, if I can get the pen, it's going to be in the edges of the first calculator around the 122 and here, which is roughly this 129 and the trend line is 130. So you are going to go there. But I mentioned uh, two weeks ago that everybody should pay attention to that shoulder, this head here, and the formation of a shoulder that is going to linger if they are okish today and kind of create that little bit of a fear and create a little bit of a right shoulder, right? And by the way, your likes and comments are appreciated, guys, if this is helpful while doing the ZN bonds analysis. So hopefully this is helpful. And so this right shoulder, they, they might be a little bit okish and Make you wait, wait, wait a couple of weeks, everything. All assets are kind, kind of like rejecting that 5,000 SPX. Everything is a little bit depressed for a couple of weeks. And then we start lining up for the new president, the new cycle here and here. And then they are coming back towards the trend line. So you have to be careful because I would not be surprised, right, that we are doing that. As a matter of fact, within the uptrend structure, we, we are breaking here. Look, we are breaking a little bit that up structure. So unless they regain that up structure from the M4MC today, which is an up structure to the resistance within the probabilities, I say everybody should be careful of something that I mentioned two weeks ago. Shoulder here, head here, and we work a shoulder here that brings the entire market pulling back from the 5,000 test. And that would push asset and put pressure on asset down and put a little bit of pressure on cryptos, put pressure on the market. By the way, I am a lot more bullish on cryptos from now to the elections. I think this is the place where everything wants to be right now, the cryptos. So I think if you have cryptos that are selling off, let's say 20% that you like, if you see that 35,000, 38,000 on Bitcoin, you should buy. If you see Ethereum giving you a Christmas gift between 1,800 and the 2,200, you should buy because your risk ratio is very attractive. So the last thing we are going to look for the market reviews are the Dixie, and then we'll do a chart blast. I'll do as many charts as I can. So you look at the, 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 the Dow index here, and you can see that if you look at the, the structure and the probability, it's 50-50. So it's not really helpful. You know, we have a 40, 51% of rebounding, but it's not very helpful. But look, this uptrend is still intact, but now we have the lower high in place. So I would not be surprised that the Dix is going to stay within the probability calculator. This box from the gray to the gray, that's your first box, which is roughly this uh, 108 
And that if they push to 108, by the way, that's where you get your 4375, 4500 retracement on the SPX. And then on the low side, they are going to hold this 101, uh, 99 area, okay? Because you have two boxes. Everything is a box and everything is a division of third if you have you want good probability. And because those tools are unique in the world and we encourage partners and price people that do price predictions to check them out, you know, you have nothing to lose, everything to gain. It's a suite of tools that is incredible that has been based on real money, trading real money, you know, it's 30 days money back guarantee. You have nothing to lose to change your life because they, without false promises, will change the way you look at the market for the rest of your life in day trading, in uh, investing, and, and uh, swing trading. It's uh, very unique. Nobody has those tools. And we encourage influencers and partners to join us, you know, in this quest of helping people being more patient in their trade and thinking in probability instead of what? Most traders, what they do is what? They get in, they get out. They get in, they get out. They get stopped, then it goes their way. And then they get crazy and they make emotional decisions. No, you need to get in and stay in your position, in your asset, until you make the money from point A to point B, from an edge to an edge to an edge to an edge. Look at our quarter million dollar portfolio on the power indicators. Uh, two, there was two videos where I showed you our retirement account. That's not even our day trading accounts. That's not even our account. Those are retirement account. There's no futures leverage. There's no options leverage. A quarter million dollars. One of the account made 27%. The best investor of all time is Warren Buffett, the 20% rate of return. These tools without false promises, saying is believing, nothing to lose, everything to gain. Take the 30 day trial. Helps you to go from one edge, buy on the blue, you sell at the top of the purple, buy at the bottom of the blue, sell at the bottom of the purple. Use the right indicator for the real time probability edges, combine them with the top net seller, net buyer from the institutional, the major block trading, the minor block trading, net buyer, net seller, instead of watching every candle, look for short term directions, right? Here, the dollars are the short term direction down and then a long term direction up, right? So on pullback, you buy the dollar right now. Everybody say short, short, short the dollar because we print money, we print money. But in the meanwhile, look, this is going to make a higher low, higher low, and it is going to test that trend line. So it's going to be like a triangle of higher low, lower high on the dollar. Because as soon as we approach very closely for the next few days, that 5,000 on the SPX and that 500 on the SPY, the first time around, guys, they always reject the round number. Always reject the round number. So now you know. You must watch what? The ZN, number one. Two, the Dixie, the dollar. If the bonds goes down, rates goes up, that puts pressure on asset. If the dollar goes up, that means people are buying defense, the market goes down. Then that will create a market down. In addition to that, you will watch the power trend box at the top. You'll put some signals. Like here, I have signals flying on Falcon. And you'll see when we have net sellers coming, institutional major minor, minor trend. You look also at the uh, uh, Magnificent 7, Microsoft, Amazon, you know, Google yesterday, AMD, NVIDIA, uh, Apple, all of those you are going to keep an eye on. You keep an eye on the screeners. The screeners will give you the best opportunities. Okay. Now let's go to cryptos. <laughs> Crypto time, guys. So this is FOMC. For those who don't know me, I trade crypto. I trade stocks. And I, I, they trade only SPY options, SPY options, SPX options, and futures. I am only a one pony trick, very, very focused when it comes to day trading for many, many years has been uh, 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 documented on the day trading zones. You know, a couple of years ago, I've been very, very blessed to do $675,000. What? $675,000 trading SPY options, guys. And since then, I'm like a little mouse. I want to save my money and be, I am an entrepreneur as well. I'm a, I am a father of five kids, blended family of three and two, guys. 
So since I've made that money, it took me only 20 something years to make that money in the options market. I have been very conservative. I've improved the tools. I do the retirement accounts. I do long-term investing, swing trading in cryptos and everything. And you can see I have a $50,000 crypto account. So I am one of those rare guys that not only I am an entrepreneur and I have done analysis and tools for the past 14 years, guys. You can see my boys here. One of my boys actually is a trader, investor. One was a football, tra football player. He's in the military. He does the ROTC program, ROTC program. He's going in the military, right? So, guys, this is very, very, very real. Like, we use real money, real accounts with the tools, and you have nothing to lose because you have absolutely money back guarantee. We've been around 14 years. So change your life, change the way you're thinking and looking at your chart.